I thought I'd tell how I put this burner together. This burner is for heating uh, the water that I'm using for home brew. You need a big burner. You use it outside because you've got to put a lot of BTUs in this because you're, you may be running 8, 10 gallons uh, through this thing. So it's got to heat it up pretty quick. Okay, I came up with this thing, and I'll go over how I put it together. I don't recommend that if you have no real experience with natural gas, this is a natural gas burner, I don't really recommend you make something like this. It's a, uh, it works, and it's got safeties on it and so on like that, but you could get yourself in trouble if you're a neophyte. So, uh, with that said, Let's go ahead and look at what we did. Now this is actually an old conversion burner. That's what the green thing is right down there. It was actually, it's brand new actually. Uh, I bought it at auction sale and they've never been installed. We can't put these things in anymore. Uh, so I ended up with them and uh, I come up with this home brew idea. So I thought I was going to need to make something like this. So this is what I did is I put this together. Let's take a look at the burner itself. Okay, here's the burner with the flame spreader inside. Just a single burner uh, system. I'm gonna fire this up and you can get an idea of what it looks like when it's running. Okay, there's with it burning. Uh, it's about 55,000 BTUs. I think that's about the maximum I wanna put on this thing. And uh, notice I've used a piece of thin wall tubing, which is actually an old refrigerant cylinder to surround it. That keeps any wind from bothering the flame and kind of directs it up to the pot. Obviously the pot sits on top of the X. Uh, next I'm gonna show you the controls on this thing. Now here you can see the controls. This is an old S86. Uh, electronic pilot. There's your control, there's your gas valve. Uh, the pilot is where the pilot would be. When you plug this thing in, this cord here comes out and uh, plugs into uh, an outlet. Then it's going to light the pilot, prove the pilot, and then turn on main gas. Uh, this valve here, see this burner it could go up to 250,000 BTUs, and I don't think I want quite that much. So I'm limiting this thing to uh, about 55,000, and this valve is what I limit it with. It's a fairly simple, but it actually works really good. One other thing I wanted to note, when you look at the uh, framework there, it's like 14 by 14, and it's... Uh, 15 inches high. It's made out of pretty heavy material. The reason it's made out of the heavy material is, you know, if I'm putting something that could have up to 9 or 10 gallons in it, that's really heavy and you need the weight of this thing to kind of balance that a little bit so it doesn't fall over easy or something like that. Uh, but make it out of heavy material. Okay, next I'm going to show you how that hand valve operates. Note where I've got that valve handle sticking out of the housing. I've actually installed a stop right here. So I can't go any farther than the 55,000. I can turn it off or turn it down by moving the handle back this way. That essentially shuts it off but I want to be able to just run it to a stop so that I won't go above the BTUs. Okay, I've, I got the valve shut off. Now if you can see that, I know it's not real easy to see, but the burner's on and that's up to the max. If I want this lower, then I can knock it down. <clears throat> I can knock it down like that and it goes quite a bit lower. 
here you can see the flame at low fire uh, and it's it's adjustable it's a pretty big change with a small movement of the valve but it works pretty good you might also note this thing is hooked up with a propane flex line it's hooked up to natural gas this is how I use this natural gas I recommend using these uh, flex lines they've got a quick disconnect uh, that seals when you open it up so uh, that's a really good way to do this I would not connect this thing up with hard pipe because then you can't move it or you're gonna break a pipe or something so use a flex line when you're hooking this up it is now cooking and I'm gonna bring about six gallons of water to a boil and I'll tell you how long it takes okay there we are at uh, a full rolling boil at 24 and a half minutes that's what you could expect out of it uh, should you build one well you certainly can uh, if you have the requisite skills uh, to do it both metallurgy skills for the welding and uh, the gas skills you can do this but if you don't have those skills I don't think I'd do it you can buy one of these burners that runs off propane for about fifty to seventy five dollars uh, maybe not real thrilled with them uh, there's no safeties on them there's no flame safety control or anything if this one's probably a little safer than the propane burners because it has a flame safety control on it uh, and if you have the skills you can go ahead and do it you got to find one of these burners uh, they're not the most common thing in the world but I did buy these at auction I think I paid like three or four dollars for them so uh, it's a way to brew beer remember if you try to brew you can brew extract with something about the size of what's on there now that's a, a six gallon pot but if you're doing all grain you really need 40 quarts it's uh, it's pretty much what you need to, to get your batches right and you need that big old nasty burner anyway that's all there is to that one good luck